Hi everyone and welcome to DIY Busy Books. I'm going to show you how to make this tea set activity page for your little one's busy book. The template is totally free and it's very easy. There is no sewing required. You just need felt and your hot glue gun. As you can see it comes with this little teapot, a little sugar pot, a three-tiered cake, a cupcake, two strawberries, two cookies, and two teacups and two little plates here. Also, you can see that I've already assembled this busy book and what I've done is I've left some storage at the top to store all of the pieces. So when you go ahead and assemble your busy book, make sure you leave the top part of this page open when you do the, your gluing so that your little one can store all their pieces neatly inside of that page. So if you think your little one would enjoy this activity, check out this video. First thing you can do is head on over to my website, which is linked in the description, and you can print and cut out all the pieces for the tea set template. Once you've got all your pieces cut out, you can go ahead and trace and cut them onto your felt. I have finished cutting out all of my felt pieces. Let me show you guys what I have. Okay, so we'll start out with the, my 20 by 20 centimeter felt sheet. I chose to go with a light blue background and I have my platter. I chose to do that in purple. So I'm gonna be gluing down, starting at the bottom, this kind of thicker piece at the bottom. And then I'm gonna glue this right over top. Then this next one is gonna go over top of that, close to the center, and then finally the top piece will be glued on top of that. So you can see it kinda of looks like a two-tiered platter. I also have my these two shapes here. I chose to do a blue icing cupcake. I'm gonna be gluing these two copies of the teapot together. And again, the only reason I cut out two copies of the teapot is because you can see how kinda of bendable my felt is. By gluing two pieces together, it really makes it stiffer and much more structure to it. I've also got the sugar pot here. I'm gonna glue those together. I have these two white circles and these two pink circles. That's gonna be my plate. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these strawberries together and I cut out just freehand these little stems to put on. I'm also gonna take a black marker for the strawberry seeds. So I'm gonna do that with both of these strawberries. Also, these four little circles are going to be glued together, two and two, to make some cookies. And I'm going to take a brown marker and just color in some chocolate chips. I'm going to glue these two teacups together here and these two teacups together here so that I've got a nice uh, stiff two cups of tea. And then the last thing I'm going to glue on together is all of this, these cake. I'm not going to glue the three pieces together. I'm going to keep them separate, but I'm going to glue on the icing and then the little raspberry filling in the middle. So I'm gonna glue all of those on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will show you the finished result. Okay, and here's the final tea set all put together. So you can see there's a few things that I added. I just added some flowers that I had. I glued them on there. I thought that looked really cute having the matching flowers on the teapot and the little sugar cup. I also took a black marker and drew on some seeds onto the strawberries. I took a brown marker and just colored in some brown spots on the cookies and then I took a blue marker and kind of just drew the curves of the icing onto the cake. One other thing that I added is I took my scissors that have that special kind of edging and I just cut around the plate just cut because I think it looks so cute. And then the last thing that I decided to add was this little kind of white border on the edges of the platter. And then again, I used my special scissors to cut that little edge at the bottom. So even if you just have regular scissors and you wanted to cut a curved edge around to add to the two tiers of the platter, I think that would look really cute. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed making this activity and I hope your little ones love playing with it. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you have any requests. Thanks so much.